see all my friends I saw this weekend? Yeah, you were busy. I was out from 12.30 to 8.30 at night on Saturday. Oh, wow. Then I didn't get home till about 8 o'clock Sunday and we left about 12.30. Yeah, I ran in like I was seeing some friends. My friend that picked me up from Chestermere, we went to see her sister because I haven't seen her since she graduated. Oh, okay. So she was there, but then, you know, they were having a barbecue. So a couple of my other friends came down there that I didn't expect to see. I guess she invited them or something. I had a beer with them when I was down there. Yeah. But then I had to leave because, you know, I went to the Grey Eagle at sex. You saw the Grey Eagle post, right? So I got my lady fixes that day. And your grandma was in town as well? Yeah, my aunt. They left this morning. Oh, did they? Yeah. And my dad's back now. Oh, okay. Have fun on Thursday and Friday picking kids up. <laughs> this is so nice now. This road. I'm always get ready for the bump, but I remembered it's not there anymore. They left the middle though. They left the middle parts though, did you see? How was your weekend? They go to weekends only uh, uh, last week, they're open full time, right? Yeah, this is the last week they're open. Yeah. We're under a heat warning right now. Are we? Yeah. It's gonna be 30 though, so. Yeah, the storm front was big, eh? I saw them developing on radar. Uh, about 12.30 Saturday afternoon, I started seeing their clouds. I hear there was a lot of lightning as well. Imagine if that happened at one o'clock in the morning again. Ah, uh, now I we'll have to get prepared for the other storm season. Snow White. So storms don't have any characteristic, e or any characteristic. Each thunderstorm does, but not snowstorm. Yeah. I celebrated on Friday. 
uh, and sa um, um, Saturday, and then we went to Heritage on Sunday, so. Yesterday was just a chill day. Had a couple, uh, had a couple of beer on Saturday. Just like two though, and they were in between. Yeah. <laughs> Just a couple of drinks though. I didn't go nuts. No. Feel like shit the next day. <laughs> and I don't like that feeling anymore. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> so Anderson opens officially next week. Yeah. Monday morning. Oh, no, Tuesday morning. Oh, because it's a long weekend, right? You probably won't see me for a while. Yeah, because you know what I'm going to do, right? Unless you get 7813, then I'll come out for that day. You put 1046 up there for me. Yeah. Did you do some editing with it? Yeah. You know what would be a great present from you if you got special permission from Stoney to take it out and go to Chestermere, take me on a private charter. Wouldn't that be something? Trust me, I would be so happy. Best birthday gift ever. We're getting on the fun bus of like 78.95. They all have screaming motors. I'd start going out at one o'clock just for that, so I can get extra time in. Okay. Your ridership will be a little more on Thursday and Friday. Do you get kiddos on your 13 as well? I might because there's a couple of schools that are starting on those days. Too, too bad you weren't working yesterday on your 13 in the morning. It was 7917. Oh was it? Yeah. How was it? It was okay. Remember, 
then I said you're gonna get a really old bus, really old 79 next last week, and you did. Yeah, I know. Imagine if you had 7613 today, if it was still a wrap. I would not be in my wheelchair. I would be, I'd be very back like I did with 7632. Yeah. Man, if you go, ever went on it and came on a private charter, man, that thing runs like... But he doesn't use it in the winter time, right? The private owner. You've probably driven that bus before. Oh, probably, yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I got footage from here that's parked this weekend, a couple clips of 2024 as well. I'm going to combine it uh, uh, with uh, the double header footage that I'm going to get on Saturday. That way I can put the footage from this weekend, with like now, uh, this weekend's coming up, I can do a, like a compilation of the two engines. I got footage already up of the Heritage train on Sunday. What did you think? It's good, yeah. You don't get to ride a steam engine every uh, every day, so it's very special. I'm gonna have a long weekend because I got my podcast with my friend on Sunday, right? So, oh, okay. yeah. By the time I go to bed on Saturday night, I may not even make it till two o'clock in the morning. I didn't go to bed till like quarter to four this morning. You early? Are you early? One thing I wish uh, the new fly when we ordered the new flyer Excelsior line, I wish they came with Allison instead, right? They're so much smoother, right? Yeah. I believe our XM40s have Allison transmissions, though. Oh, do they? The ZF ones are so bad. It's just the way they're designed, right? The ZF transmission. Oh, yeah, how was the retarder on your bus this morning? I wish I would have given you seventy eight ninety nine or something. That bus will probably be out next week. Yep. Everything's gonna be out. Hey, next week.
They probably do since they've been prepping them. Well, they probably did it when the mechanics came back. I imagine the 2006s will finally be out too. The 2006 flyers. I'll be definitely uh, getting a couple 2004s and 02s. The older, the better. Imagine if they had 1996 still running. I would love that. On both devices. and go out. I'm happy that I'm going to get some different buses though. I just wish they didn't retire the 1996s during COVID, right? Else they would have been running them, right? But then again, they're over 26 years old by this point. Eh? It's not safe, right? You know, transit would struggle to maintain them. Yeah. Like, you know, Kent, that private owner, right? Yeah. He's even said when his bus breaks, it's hard to find parts, right? When it breaks down because it's 1996. Yeah. Okay. They're out. Oh, Imagine if I went to ride the school buses every day and got them on film, I'm bus crazy. Well, I would be just a filmer, I was like, no, take me for a ride. I'm a bus enthusiast. Don't need to go to school anymore. This will be fun getting through on Thursday. Right, you're part of your 87, right? Yeah. How long of a um, trip? Like, it's not a full trip, but how long is it? Oh, half an hour. But it's about an hour if you did the whole thing, right? And there was a, and then there was a three that was there, right? What was it again? You take it over at ten in the morning. But you said there was a route three there that um, you, you, of course, you didn't want to sign on it. But you, yeah. But it's the three, right? So no. The three is the three, if you know what I mean. But if the old bus is on it, I can handle it. Like a 2002 or something. I was in my glory on 7806. That's probably one of the best 2002s I've been on. 
very strong, right? You know how you have some weaker buses and you have ones that sound just perfect, right? Lately, I've been putting on a lot of mileage. So now I created a special transit equipment playlist. I put 2090 and, and uh, 7632 in there so I can go back and forth and compare. Imagine if that was your ride home and I got to go on it. There you go. Uh, take me all the way to Chester there. I would have to go on the highway, the high speeds. Eh? The high speeds are my favorite. Yeah. Except with these. Oh, did you make Bob late on Friday? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. Well, how much? Curious there. 
Like you bad little brat, Jay. And the cat decided I'm gonna make your life hell, right? Yeah. Did you get woken up? You're like, what the hell did you do, right? I shut my gate and went through a window and was so much. I didn't know it was the cat that got sprayed until it was sprayed when I got out. What did you think of that? Oh, You must be like, you little bastard, right? You little bastard, you did it again. No. Not very intelligent. No. Decision. Female cats. Huh? Female cats. Oh, yeah. You must have not have been very happy. Pardon? You must have not have been very happy. Oh, he's outside today, tied up outside. He's probably searching for another skunk. He's probably after them. So he just decided randomly to go bother a skunk? Oh, I think the skunk was up in the light. Yeah, I don't know. Probably either wrestling in the bushes or under the fence or something besides they want to investigate. Imagine if you guys had a dog, it would bark at the skunk. Yeah. But not good at fighting skunks. No. <laughs> he even caught a magpie one day. Pardon? The cat even caught a magpie one day. Wow. He tried to get it? Oh, he got her. He had it around the neck. Man, that's pretty good. Did he just go and pounce? Oh, he snuck up, yeah. He hides underneath the barbecue cover. And then he just goes and pounces. Yeah. Did he kill it? He injured him pretty good, though. I don't know. I'm away, so I'm not Must be a new 
driver, I saw a training bus there earlier. New driver, I'm guessing. And big buses are still having to come out of spring at night. Like 7911 was one this morning. 7901 was doing a shuttle run on the 79, I think, this morning. I never see a shuttle bus very often on this route. It is on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, but even when it's supposed to be shuttle after uh, this bus here goes out of service, it's always a big bus. And that is still shuttle work, you know what I mean? But as you said, they're short, right? If you get a big bus on shuttle work, I guess it's spare board. Sometimes they don't need you, right? So you wasted your day in the office. My fall programs don't start until the end of September, so. So you're kind of having a little holiday right now. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, it might be just busy because this is the last week that they're open full time. So they need all employees, right? Imagine how busy the long weekend's gonna be there. Imagine me and her going at it. I'm a lot like her. Me and her together would never stop if I met her. No. For dinner tonight. You know what I'm planning to do? I'm gonna update my subscription on 7632. I'm gonna put Detroit Series 50 heaven in it. Yeah. Imagine if you had that bus today and you did the pulling up hill thing, I would be happy. That was so funny. I, we were talking about you getting a really old bus eventually. Yeah. And then you got 7913. That's why you were texting me. Did it happen on Wednesday last week? Yes. You might get 79 or 8 or something. Yeah, I did not. As long as it's in the morning and not the afternoon, it's okay. But the afternoon is when I come on. But it would be hot, so. Yeah. But I would just sit in the back and get the nice air, right? So. Oh, you get the air smoother now without that uh, big train track. Oh, I know. They pick this one up. This one's thankfully not as bad, but they could take it out. They got no use for it, right? They say the Anderson work went so fast, people signed on it and took it all, right? So other VP drivers who wanted Anderson work could hardly get any, right? Because it's taken, right? This sign up. Yeah, sign up. Yeah. 
I think the ones at the Anderson fence means they may not move them, but they're just prepping them for service, right? When they put them at the fence, they put them outside and clean them, right? A couple, uh, you know the 2006s are Winnipeg spec buses, right? Yeah. Uh, um, they're at the fence, eh? You can see them outside, a few of them. Did you hear the fireworks from your house the other night? I heard a couple booms from my house. But just raining lightly. Yeah, the thunder and lightning had moved on. It was just cold and raining, so yeah. There was a lot of lightning. Hey? Okay. Yeah. I hear the thunder was very loud, too. I was actually out in Carsland uh, and they had a tent set up there yeah. and the wind got really bad. I recorded it of course. Oh, okay. yeah, I, I hear it hailed in some areas too. developing the storms. And then um, I took my part home and then I had to go out and get another part in a different store. Wow. And, um, and then it's when it was just boring and then I had to go down 16th Avenue and it was just crazy. I hear it even held in some places of the oh, yeah. city. Maybe I should do it again for you this Saturday. I hear it was raining so hard you could even hardly see. And the wind was like this, the trees were doing this. Oh, yeah. When I see on the news somebody's tree moved out somewhere. What's, up? What's wrong with your daughter's prayers? They're breaking down, right? Uh, last week, Becky. This week, Jenny. No, not, no we're still working on Becky's car. Becky. Yeah. And Jenny's car is fine. And Becky's car is so But I mean, they. But what is wrong? You're dealing with all breakdowns. Um. Uh, uh, like these buses, these blow a hose sometimes. Yeah. Just like these buses on the 5, remember you on the 5? Yeah. Your hose blew a couple times? Yeah, so no, that was all it needed, so...
But a lot of our buses don't get a break because it's a transit system, right? did their sad sign up for Saturday work as well when they went in as well, right? Um, they pick their weekly work and drivers who work on the weekends got their work as well, right? You could make them wait every track. here was another big bus it wouldn't be able to fit on here no. and it would be an oldie oh remember I took it back yeah yeah not very sturdy, right? The braking system. Yeah. I know this one is worn out, but it's the best one I've had. Yeah. Well, it's pretty lightweight, too. It around and it's pretty easy. Detroit Diesel Series 50 <laughs> motor, I could really cruise. Out of 76.32, I would be laughing. <laughs> I would make sure to go on there, but when it's not busy, so I could get the screen. You know I'm all about raw bus power, right?
watch you turn by mistake when you're supposed to go straight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bob would just say she did it again. Oh, the 76s? On 
Oh, but when when it's 30, you're like, hell no, I can't do that. I know. But you had to to keep driving your bus. But if it was like 32, you're like, no, I'll just shut the bus off. Yeah, I know that was good to work fine. And you add one of those, uh, one of those. What, the engine was just getting too hard, eh? Yeah, the, yeah, the was the motor running fine still? The hills are the best part for me. I know. That's what the old ones are starting to do in the summer now as they're getting older, right? Seventy-six thirty-two might get uh, or you would go. Go, you're going back to the garage and you get a hot engine light on Deerfoot, but you have to go the speed limit, right? Yes. And that's when your engine can get most hot because you're going, um, 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 that's when your engine can get most hot because, you know, you're, um, yeah. So when you were doing the five and you had a 1996 flyer, every time you went up the hill, then it would just, would it beep at you? Yes, you get the alarm going off. But would it stop after a while? But I imagine downtown you would have to shut the bus down. Yeah. That's the one thing about the 76 is they overheated a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You it would go. Uh, you would get the go plugs going again. And then it would take three times to start or not start at all. And they would give you a 7900 for sure or another 96. But it's whatever they had available on the change offer, all right? If they give you another 1996, another 7600 for a change off, and you just had one, you're gonna take it, right? I do miss the 7600s for their roar, though. Imagine if they had a whole fleet of them going, they would be 26 or so, but Transit would have to preserve them by now, right, to keep them going. If you watch the video you, that I have, you see the ramp coming out. Oh, you're you're back a generation or two so uh too far. Our first low floors were our 93s. Okay. The 1993 buses. Hi.
hot engine lights. Yeah. I know what it's like. And you can sound they sound different when they're overheating, when they oh, yeah. when they lose all their coolant. And then you have this great big just thing of white smoke. From losing all your coolant. And you're still running but barely you can tell your bus is gonna die. Or to a gas station even. Do you miss the 7600s? Oh, yeah, they were good. Yeah. Just in the summer, you know. Yeah. For that, as they got older in the summertime. Well, they were bad in the winter, but they But they were a good um, boss. They were good in the winter. They were bad. They were good in the winter once they warmed up. That was like some of the jimmies. You would have to start them 30 minutes before the, uh, you gave it to the driver, right? Yeah. Just so it could sit and warm up. Your battery uh, uh, died in them a few, two yeah. a few times, too, I heard, yeah. from drivers. But you would get, they would like to overheat in the summer. Oh, yeah. The coolant couldn't support when it got hot enough. Since I was in the, in the back seat, like the engine itself, I, I could feel the temperature. Uh, when sitting back near the engine. But we didn't go on Darefoot just because they say old buses have limitations, right? So. We blew a spring bus right out of the water when we passed. When we took off. My friend Blake's a fast driver though. He wanted us to hear the actual noises. be a grizzle of a mess. So you have to bath him? He's probably going to give you eyes. I don't want to bath. Don't give me a bath. I don't need it.
Just like if you had a dog, the dog would give you poppy eyes and try to escape the washroom. Right? picking up kids here next week. The next driver. be so busy and trains as well when school's back in. They're only running three car service on both lines again. Calgary trying to cut back on their four cars on the red line. They're probably saving that service for school. They would have to come out of the garage, yeah. And three cars will not be enough. They ran three cars last year when University was in. At the start of September. But they had more consists out of trains. Especially at the Bow Valley College. Oh, yeah. I won't want to wait at Sater University on the Northwest line. Oh, that 31 is going to be so busy. Yeah, a few school buses are already back on the road, but the major of the majority of the fleet will be back next week. You don't like them, eh? The oldies are very bumpy. But yeah, but what if you 
rough. You're like, hello, there's transit only stop there. Cops should hand out tickets for that. Right? Just move up just enough, not a lot. Right? There were so many charter buses for Wobble Fest. Holy cow. There has to be though, because it's so busy, right? And if you want to park somewhere, it's 20 bucks. Yeah. Like, there's no parking anyway. All of it's taken up. It's on the outside of the park.
Does some of your family not know that Jenny's coming or? They don't know she's coming at all. No. That'll be a great surprise. Yeah. They'll be hugging her like hell in a handbasket. Yeah, sure. But I mean, they haven't seen her for a long time. You're keeping it that low key, right? They think it's just you coming. Yeah. Oh, since she's working there in the winter, will someone pick up her shifts till she gets back? She's taking holidays. Yeah. Good thing you don't take her in the spring, though, because she'll be too busy, right, with getting things ready for the season, right? Five 12-hour shifts this week. Yeah, she's got a busy week this week, yeah. She would have it no other way, though. This bus is so nice and cool today, I'll give it back. Break. My brake keeps popping off. You can probably tell this chair has lots of mileage on it. Yeah. All I need by that lovely Detroit Series 50 motor and I'll be all good to go. As far as transit buses go, that was one of my the, the most favorite tra um, the most favorite transit moment for me what? on that charter right oh, yeah. not a lot of people get to do that in a lifetime no. maybe I'll see if I can do a burnout to celebrate. I wouldn't get too far with buses. <laughs> I didn't get your ice cream photo till the next day. I know, I forgot. I thought I sent it, but I didn't push the right button. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. Oh, you know what's sitting in that freezer right now? Ice cream. Lizards. I got one at home too. Yeah. I got one myself, so oh. ha ha, right? Ha ha, you can't tease me. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what kind did you get? I don't know. <laughs> it's a surprise. Oh. You were like, oh shit, I wanted to get him so bad. <laughs> you can tease Bob with that. <laughs> You wanted to make me jealous, it didn't work this time. It didn't work that time. But you just had to send out that ice cream picture, did you? Yeah. If I was on your morning run last week, I would have been in the back of 7913, eh? Yeah. Do you have a lot of high speeds on your route?
You need to take me when you come from the grass so I can go down there for it. Yeah. But I mean, when you start your route, do you have a lot of high speed segments? Um, not really, no. Yeah, because I've taken the 13, so. I go down, what, is it 54th Avenue? 54th Avenue? Yeah. It like you mean it type of thing. Well, I like to do it after I finish my run downtown so I gotta go up here. Yeah. Memorial Drive and there for the run. That's when you should have me on. <laughs> I'll never rest with that. If you send me a text and I, I see a message from you when I get up, I'm like, oh, it's probably her. <laughs> Getting 7911 or something. You haven't driven a Vic Park bus for a long time. So it might take the eights back down to Anderson eventually. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, they do all, you know, 7900s and springy anymore. Well, you might get um, some other old fives, like some 7800s and stuff. Yeah. You might be the old bus garage eventually. And then there's Vic, of course, right? Yeah. But Vic may not be in existence in the future, right? No, it's going to be gone, but we have an option. For that arena, if they ever get that deal. Yeah, they get that, no, the big park's gone, yeah. As long as it's on the fence, Vic Park will stay. Yeah. That's our, this is our first train of the day here. We didn't see any. No. The other one went the other way and just left. Should be good to go. Oh, those guys are good. I'll make the light red for 10 minutes. I'll make the light red for 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to have any time here. I'm going to have to just go for it. But you'll make it up. Oh, I'm already on time. Yeah, two minutes early, but that's not going to last. If I made you wait for 10 minutes. Yeah. Bob wouldn't mind you sitting at the light. More time to spend with him. I'm hungry now. Huh? I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, yeah. I have pieces of leftover Ogden pizza. I went to Ogden pizza on Sunday after here to Oh I figured you didn't take you there. Yeah. It was my cousin Reese, me and my um uh me, my grandma and my aunt. I got a medium so I could get a couple lunches out of it the last couple days. Oh, right on. And we had poutine, right? Freshly made poutine. They make poutine there. Well, you have that guy in the scooter, right? So. Oh, right. I forgot about that. This 
guy who relieves you, tomorrow will be the last time you see him. Yeah. Are you guys friends or? Well, I know, yeah. We talk to each other. You know, we say hi in the garage or some whatever. Yeah. He knows my name. I can't remember his name. Oh. <laughs> we all remember Bob pretty well. Oh. I can tell you're hesi hesitating there. Make him wait again for the last day. I should, should I? Yeah. Oh, I gave you the wrong idea, but whatever. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. So he panics when... He panics yeah, he kinda, when... Yeah, he kind of started running to his bus to get on the bus to go. Because the 33 fall in? Because the 33 pulled them? Oh, the, yeah, two, yeah. Huh? <laughs> it went around in the park in the small, the usually park, and so he was kind of stuck. <laughs> so it, and then he ran, had to run to his bus. Yeah, because the 33 pulled around in the park on an angle so he couldn't get out. <laughs> oh, oh, God. You set that up, didn't you? <laughs> He couldn't get out? No, he couldn't go. He had to back up to get around the bus to go. <laughs> he must have been already 15 minutes late. Oh, he must have been. Yeah, he must have been a good 10 minutes late. Well, he does it to you. Yeah. But he has a short route, so we can make up time. Oh, that's it, yeah. Oh, it's not good. He, he's back in 10 minutes anyway. Oh, that's I wonder why they have that, because of that college, right? That's why they have that 27, right? Yeah, there's a lot of little businesses in there. Imagine his bus gets full then. Imagine if they put shuttle on the five during busy times. Like, you would have people standing in the whole box. I think, what did he say, 21 people can sit on the bus, and I think 12 can stand on the shuttle bus. But you really shouldn't let people uh, have tw a standing load on yeah. a shuttle bus. Yeah, but you can put 21 people on the sitting. Yeah. But that's all you should really have. Yeah. But if you have to, yeah, you can put 12, 10 or 12 I remember some days when you had a load of 60 people on that five one. Oh, yeah. Remember? It was a couple of trips back. Like, I had to stop talking to you for a little bit. Because I couldn't hear you. I know. That was the trip around Christmas time. And it was around Christmas time. That was why, too. Wasn't it that the bus apparently dropped down or he wasn't, there wasn't, he didn't show up or something? Pardon? Wasn't that the bus in front of me broke down or something? It was broken, I think. Yeah. Was he doing a five? on with you, I think. Yeah. For like three, four traps. Yeah. Must have been sick of me by that. <laughs> All those were fun trips. <laughs> we would see someone in the bus trap all the time. You should get the five next and then you can get one of your friends to do it when you're away, right? Yeah. You're doing 
your orange on the weekend, right? Max orange uh, on the weekend. How often does that root run on the weekend? I say about every 30 minutes plus, right? Oh, imagine doing it through the week out of Stony on that 16th Avenue. It's so busy during rush hour. Yeah. Yeah, see, I've done it before it gets super busy on 16th Avenue, so that'll be okay. Oh, but through the week, imagine that. Oh, it's busy. Especially at 3 o'clock. got a bunch of school kids on a Saturday. Oh, you would like that. No. Wouldn't that be crazy? I would just get on the transit trivia bus to go ride it. But there wouldn't be enough seats for me, right? That's the thing. I think it just sits there anyway, so I don't know. But I'm here for the roaring engine, so yeah. it wouldn't really be worth it. But I could get clips of her coming in. Yeah. They say it does pick up passengers, but for someone like me, I would have to go all the way to the back to get a seat. But that's a good thing, I can get the roaring, roaring gravy that I want. Oh, he's getting even better, yeah. I still watch that video every day, it never gets old. <laughs> the Detroit's kind of remind me of the Cummins a bit at high speed, just because of the axles. Yeah. There's a coach bus. That white coach. Yeah, did you? another discount pass for September because 56 again. Is it really? Right for August and September, right? They were doing the half price. Right they should do that all the time. But I go on the buses enough, I don't mind paying the extra money. As long as I don't have to validate or get a ticket every 90 minutes. Because this is over two hours, so I would have to give you another thing. No, you better get in the pass, yeah. Pardon? I said you're going to get in the pass with all the stuff he finds in their own bus, so yeah. But having a pass, I can just ride around as much as I want, right? Yeah. 